Welcome back to our special All Hallows Eve edition of The Late Show. I'm dressed like this because tomorrow is Halloween, unless this is a rerun, in which case I look like a total jackass. <laughs> Halloween has so many fun traditions, tricking, treating, bobbing for apples, mailing in your November rent check. But I especially love carving the jack-o'-lantern. It combines my two favorite things, knives and faces. <laughs> so tonight, we here at The Late Show want to share a few of our own pumpkin carving tips. Jim? Pumpkin carving is a treasured fall tradition. Let's make your next fall party jack o -mazing. If your pumpkin's having a good time, so will your guests. So give him a big pumpkin-y grin. Don't forget the eyes. They're the window to the soul. Why should the outside of the pumpkin have all the fun? As you carve this one, make eye contact with one of your guests and say, I think this is your head and I'm doing this to you. Just because you're smaller than the rest of the gang doesn't mean that you can't get in on the fun. Or maybe it does. Like people, some pumpkins are born failures. Get the party started with a new way to serve your famous Halloween punch. But you're not done yet. This punch bowl needs a spigot. And if you're in a hurry, no problem. Just skip the pumpkin. Here's one for the ladies. It's 2015. Halloween's not just for boy pumpkins anymore. Now you've got a Jill-O lantern. Don't forget to light the special lady candle. It's perfect, just like you are. Who's hungry for dessert? This is an easy treat to make, but good luck having leftovers. Mmm, that's farm fresh. Who wants whipped cream? Here's a fun new take on an old favorite. Stop letting society tell you what a pumpkin is. It's as good as gourd. Have a fabulous fall. And see you in November when it's time to hollow out that Jacko turkey.